Hello everyone, it's me Alan Collins and this is another rendition of me addressing worldly issues in a godly way. Hope everyone's doing well this weekend. Hope everyone's in their right mind. Hope everyone is um just holding on. So without further ado, we're gonna get into the commentary. So um well yesterday a uh, basketball player Brittany Griner was sentenced to 10 years in a Russian prison. Um, it's unfortunate. She was caught smuggling some marijuana into Russia. Um, people are they're rallying to try to get her out, trying to negotiate with Russia. And, you know, all I can say is that uh, I hope the best for her. But I'm going to say this much. When you're dealing with a country like Russia, whose former governor was communism, you're going to be kind of hard-pressed to have to, to deal with fairness. And basically, not to mention Russia and the United States have been enemies since the age of time. The United States have been friends and enemies and then friends again and then enemies um, some more. It's been a, an uneasy, unlasting relationship between these two. But let's not forget, Russia is still on its own side and they're still out for their own way of life. Bottom line is that Americans traveling to these foreign nations have to understand that their American policies do not work there. And particularly if you're black traveling abroad. One thing that we as a people have got to learn, and it's paramount that we have got to learn this, that we are still black and that white supremacy is a global international system. And I'm not saying that racism has to do with what happened to Brittany Griner. I'm not saying that, and I'm not saying it's not anything that has to do with it. But one thing though, to, to take in, to take certain is that we have to always be on our A-game. We're, we're still having issues here in the United States. What makes you think that when you travel to these other nations that their policies are not going to affect you? You can't bring that American way of life to another pl another person's country and then think everything is going to be all right. Um, like I said, it's unfortunate for Brittany Griner. Um, I'm not saying that she's being treated unfairly I, I don't know but one thing I should say this that she, she should have been probably a little bit more well versed on the policies and, and the practices of Russia which was part of the former Soviet Union perfect examples of those of us who have traveled abroad uh, this happened some years ago a young man named Bakari Henderson was traveling in Greece and we all know the story about him tragically he lost his life you got to understand that the natives of these countries, they, they stick together. They have their own policies and their own way of doing things. And when you come there, you can't think that because you're an American that you're going to be able to just go scot-free and just ease your way through there with no problems. Because a lot of these countries, got to remember, don't like Americans. And if they don't like Americans, that probably goes, in my opinion, that will go double for black Americans. Black people traveling have to understand and take in consideration that it's going to be a little bit tougher on you simply because of the color of your skin. And I know that should be really something minuscule and insignificant to, to be hateful of someone. But once again, white supremacy is a global system, is internationally enforced, and that's just the way it's been since, once again, since we've been in North America. So anyway, um, I just wanted to say that my prayers are for Brittany Griner. Um, if the United States is able to negotiate her release and get her safely back to, to America, that's fine. But um, if this be certain that, that Russia is going to want to enforce its law and their law is broken. Um, I'm not sure to what the severity of, of it was, but it's a serious issue. 
Now, up to until I heard the fact that, that she was over there dealing with the situation, I've never even heard of Brittany Griner. I never knew who she was. I didn't know she was a sports figure. And she played overseas, so that's pretty much how I feel about it. That This is me speaking my opinion on it. None of, I mean, none of this, except for the fact that we have to be careful traveling overseas. A lot of other things, to me, I, I, I'm just sp basically speaking out my opinion, and which, which I am entitled to. But I'm sure of those of you who are watching this video, please, um, I invite you to get, to get in the comments. Let me know what you think. Do you think what I'm saying is spot on? Or am I making some points or am I missing something? Let me know. And while you're at it, hit the bell icon to be notified when I drop more videos, and we can go from there. But yeah, um, it's unfortunate, and you know, we have to take in consideration, we have to use our brains. We have to be alert when we're traveling abroad, when we're in a foreign land that we know nothing of. We have to always be on our P's and Q's. So, yeah, that's pretty much um, how I feel about that situation, what I want to say. So, anyway, guys, um, support the channel at paypal.me forward slash real Aaron Collins, as well as patreon.com forward slash real Aaron Collins, and just get into it. Um, as you already know, I'm still working on getting a cash app together. Um, yeah, keep me in prayer for that, so... I'm just trying to work some things out. But anyway, guys, um, you already know what it is. God loves you. I love you. Let's do life. See you in the next video. And be safe this weekend. All right.